Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the grand finals of our Winter Championships. I'm Gandhi alongside of Walshi, and we want to know, are you ready for game number eight? Yeah. Sounds like you're ready, Scott. Next is King of the Hill it is. Let's go ahead and jump into the match. My prediction for this one is Instinct's going to win. Last time, Statsko got the choice of the King of the Hill, and they chose Beaver. They felt stronger on that, so Instinct's very strong in Nexus. They proved it over and over at the land last week. You know, the, the glowing of the phones actually is kind of fitting with all the tech that we're doing. I feel like I'm at a rave so far this oh, weekend. Man. So I'm just stuff, do, man. Do, do, do. I have to take off my headset sometimes. It's, yeah. it's a little overwhelming at times. King like give, the hill. Like give, a, give us, like, you know, something else. Like something mellow, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to have a good thing I'm not epileptic, you know? <laughs> uh, but, Dave, go ahead. Walk me through Nexus here a little bit. Um, It's... End up seeing teams do two different strategies. There's, team, there's teams that are very good at scrapping up time in the top middle hill, as of right now, and there's teams that are very good at holding the side hills. So overall, this game type is based around getting control of the side bases before it moves there, and being able, this is more important, is being able to break those sides up comfortably. What Instinct does on this to break the sides up is they only push one person gold generally. They push one person there so that person can get up, you know, go up to top center, peek out gold side, depending if they have sniper or not. And the reason they do this is because if the other team has sniper, they feel it's too easy of shots to hit at gold. They feel like, all right, you can just snipe over there. I'm lined up perfectly. You know where my head's going to be up here from. And hit those shots. And also, you're easy to get finished off of. For example, if you're top green, someone's going to have to come all the way that street up there or go under rocks in order to come over and fish you somehow. So yeah. you're able to poke a bit more, and they overload green side. Two or three people over there every time when they're trying to break the side setups. Pistola does have the sniper rifle. He is just going to position himself at the blue base. It is better to have some base than no base, especially when you have a sniper. You want to get heated up with it, and you're just looking to kind of delay them from getting this next yeah. hill. Ola's just trying to keep them out. He realizes it moves in 40 seconds, and you see on his death screen that Ogre 2, Lunchbox, and Bray are all pushing towards red. They want to secure red. So now as Ola's going to be down, that is going to leave a 2-on-2 two two situation. By Ola. <laughs> He's aware that they also, he noticed that someone died on Sats at the same time, and you saw how he briefly looked over to his left, threw a nade there just in case that person spawned and came over at him. So his awareness, even though it seemed like he got caught off guard there, he knew that person could have had a good chance of spawning there. He just got caught off guard slightly. Lunchbox picking up that grenade launcher. Now he seems to be putting it to use at least a little bit. Oh, almost fell off. Almost took a skydiving <laughs> lesson here on Nexus King of the Hill. Uh, Dave, at the beginning, is it important to just milk or it, 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 at like the 10 minute mark, are you like, okay guys, we really just need to get all the points we can? I think it depends on the pace of the game. Okay. When you start noticing each team starts getting huge chunks of times and you're on pace to score 250 seconds in that game, you don't want to really milk. You realize, all right, these full stops is what's weighing us the game. Whereas these both teams, both of these teams are outslaying each other so hardcore and they're not able to get big chunks of time because both teams are so good at holding setups and also, and more importantly, breaking them. And so I could also see how important it is to scrap up time in those situations because we could have a game where it's only going to end with 150 seconds with the winner. And so those extra five or 10 seconds we can get here and there add up. Well, we are seeing a status quo is doing a good job here. They have this red base set up. They are watching the closet spawns. We are going to go to an Astro listening to see what's going right for this red team. Oh, yeah, top green, top green right now. Blue two, blue two. Watch out, 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 watch Man, man, stay alive, man. Back right, back right. Hey, down two, down two. Yeah, I need closet. I, I got one. Another one. Another one. Closet. I think. Red two, red two. I got one. Show back, show back, closet, closet. Hold that salute. Somebody here? Someone's got to push him. No, no. Look at him. I need to kill this guy red, guys. Oh, red. I got him. Watch it, gold. I spawn blue. I spawn blue. Blue plat. Two blue plat. The top blue. Gold snipe. One snipe. I'm watching. Watch out, snipe. Being to your right. Fox. Another one on the side. Heavy plat. One shot at him. One shot at him. Keep milking. Another street. We're getting hills. Top green, new hills. Top green. 
My cell, my cell. Don't fight. Go to fight. Go to fight. Hold the bait. 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 Hold the Is there a guy? Yeah, so. Let's fucking go. One shot in hell. Behind us, that blue, guys. 
We gotta kill this guy. Watch out, Blue. It's ice. Fire on time. One shot off. Let's get to his hill. Two on two. I got one. Two on hill right now. Stay alive. Two dead. Two on two. We just need one big fucking chunk. Yeah, let's go. Stay alive. Let's go. I'm not help. I'm getting hit with two. Get to side. Tom's going right now. I'm getting melted. Still alive. Back up. Watch out. Don't die. Top red is low. Watch out. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Things have gotten completely out of hand. There was no excuse for that play to happen. <laughs> I'm glad we were not on stream because I just swore straight I, out loud. Oh, like, yeah. Holy great I threw shot my right headset. There. I spilled my drink <laughs> over my lap. Oh, my God, Dave. Th this is just an incredible King of the Hill performance. Uh, we have already marked down that status quo has won this game. SQ, yeah. SQ has proven me wrong. I expected Instinct to do very well this game. This is their stronger King of the Hill game type. And just, I'm in awe. This is not a close game. I did not see Instinct being able to come back. I don't either. They're just 20 or 19 seconds, if you will, away from winning this game. But I mean, to instinct right now, they are doing a good job at coming back. And uh, quite frankly here, if status quo lost, this would be the story oh, of the <laughs> tournament. I do not see them possibly losing this game. I mean, I have been wrong before, but with this much of a lead and with the solid of the team, I cannot see them losing. And what instinct has to do though, they have their, their you know, they're veterans. They have experience with this, but they know how to shake it off and move in the next game. And just for those out there, sorry to keep talking about next game, but CTF Pit is up next. I consider this game already over. They only have 10 seconds to go, only three minutes left in the game. I cannot possibly see them losing this. Well, I think uh, this one is about all she wrote. Uh, Instinct pretty much is going to go back to the drawing board on this map in between events and uh, figure it out. But, you know, I guess they're going to be stubborn, kind of hold this one out here. Uh, crazier. No, no, never mind. <laughs> not going to even bring say up comebacks it. again? No. All right. Now, you've never, no, don't even start. <laughs> there was never a king of the hill. <laughs> never. So we are just waiting for one of the status quo members to kind of jump in here. Um, as uh, Roy finally is going to be taken out. Game and control. there it game is. We have our champions of game eight. That brings us to game nine, CTF Pet. We are tied up four to four. So to anyone out there who has any com computer skills, if you could just go ahead and crop out uh, a picture of Snakebite's face and put it on People Magazine Man of the Year and change <laughs> it from Man to Sniper, I would be much appreciative. Thank you very much. <laughs> 